Welcome to another tutorial on Hick Vision Recorders. This one covers DVRs and NVRs. It covers the power up procedure and the preparation for Hick Connect. First thing you need to do is set up a password. That's the units don't come with a password anymore. It needs to be at least eight digits with an uppercase and a lowercase and some numbers. Make sure you write the details down as a lot of customers are still forgetting this. You can also create a USB recovery, but unfortunately the recovery only works if you don't change the password. So I'm going to ignore this for the time being. There's also an unlock pattern which can be used when you're in front of the DVR, makes life a little a little bit easier. Okay, so ensure you uncheck the box for the startup wizard, otherwise it's going to keep coming up with that box every time the unit powers down. And customers like to think there's a fault. So just finished setting up the time and the date. Now here most options are left as you see them on the screen. I'll come back to the DNS server later. So this is the remote viewing so you need to enable it first and then confirm the term conditions. Put in a random code which is called the verification code. Uh, it needs to be at least six digits long Obviously there's details underneath telling you what's accepted and what's not accepted. So I'm just correcting it to six digits. Okay, so hit vision hit connect should I say is enabled. It's currently offline, which it will be because we just powered up. Next screen you leave it as default. The hard disk is already installed and formatted. So I'm going to click next and choose continuous record. Obviously you can use motion yourself, but we tend to put them on continuous. So I'm going to go back and check the hit connect. So it's network and then back to platform access. As you can see, it's online here. So in other words, on the DVI, don't really need to do anything else. But if for some reason your DVI doesn't go online, first thing to do is put in a DNS ad address. This one is Google's, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 and see if it connects again. So in my case, it's not making any difference with or without. The previous version software has had lots of problems. You had to put in the DNS address, otherwise it didn't work at all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your feedback at the bottom. The mobile remote viewing on your mobile phone is covered in a separate video. Be sure to look it up.